Hello and welcome back to the right part. Today I've got a packet of DC Superheroes minifigures to open up for you. Now the funny story about this is that normally I fill these bags up in the store. However, now because of the coronavirus, I'm a bit wary about you know going outside. So I got my mother to pick this pack up for me while she was going grocery shopping. And you know, it's my mother, so she doesn't fill these packs up at all. So this is a completely random pack. And so, you know, I thought it'd be fun if I felt this up on camera to see if my feeling skills are still up to par. So let's just start. Um, you know, the first thing when you're feeling these packs is that you want to isolate the common pieces. So that'll be like the legs, the torsos, and the heads. So that, that should be the torso. Okay, that's that's the hair piece. So it's a pretty short hair piece. It's, it's not a cowl. It's definitely not a cowl. So you, yeah. It has like sideburns. Uh, there's something coming down, but, but then it goes back up. So yeah, that's like the ear place. So that's pretty interesting. Um, Okay, let's, let's just continue feeling it. So, oh, yeah, yeah, that's just uh, right here. Um, here, so here, in this corner, gosh, it's really big. It's a lot of curves. Okay, I think I think this is the Joker's um <coughs> cotton candy piece. So let's just let's just um, see if there's a one by two place. Okay, so so I can it Do doesn't really matter, I think this is a joke, it's like 99% confirmed, so let's just uh, open this pack up and see if I'm correct. Friends, do you suffer from that queasy, drop-in cabin pressure air sick feeling? Well, you should, because of my handy-dandy radar disruptor. It's guaranteed to scramble all radar signals in the greater Gotham area. Okay, so let's see if my hunch is correct. Yep, it's the Joker from the the Dark Knight Returns, which is an extremely, extremely dark comic. So I was kind of surprised when I heard that Lego was going to adapt it. In the Dark Knight Returns, the Joker's a really uh, monstrous body. Like, he's he's almost the same size as Batman, and uh, he's not he's not slim at all. He's like. You know, he's like the clay face body type, which doesn't really fit the Joker in my opinion, but you know, it's a it's a unique take nonetheless. Um, on the comic itself, I, I haven't read it, but um, from what I can tell from like plot synopsis and stuff, I'm not that big of a fan of um, where it takes Batman. Like, I think it went, I think it's a bit edlord, um, if there's such a phrase, so yeah. Not that big of a fan of the the dark night returns, but then again, I haven't actually read the comic, so maybe my opinion will change. So yeah, he is the Joker. Um, his accessories include this ball of cotton candy, which has it's um it's just a, it's just a pink unprinted minifigure head stuck in there. So for all of you monochrome minifigure enthusiasts, you're in luck. His other accessory is this Joker card, which is super. Yeah, this will be this will be useful for the Joker. Now onto the actual minifigure. It's nothing really fancy. It doesn't have any side arm printing or any side side leg printing or anything. But you know, it's a very it's a very simple design in the comics. I would prefer if they made like a new upper torso piece for the Joker because in in the comic and in the in the uh, movie, he has. A very large upper torso, which I, they tried to recreate it with like slimming the waist down for the body, it doesn't really work. But it is still a nice white suit for me to use in like other contexts, so you know, I can't complain because suits and Lego, believe it or not, are not that easy to come across. There's the, the Doctor Who happies in lime green. Be so much more useful. I know, it's like tangent. Be so much more useful if this was in normal bright green because then I can use it for like an Arkham Joker. But yeah, you know, I can't really complain. And the Dark Knight Returns is 
hair color is and it's a it's more lime than you know actual like normal green i suppose um i would have liked if you came with an alternate face like a, a a calm face because in in the in the um graphic novel he does try to act sane to get out of arkham i think so it'd be nice if he had like a sane face and it would have been a, a different joke expression that we don't usually get but yeah, that's the joke. I'm really satisfied with this minifigure. It was, it was one of the, the minifigures I wanted out of the series, so I'm pretty pleased with this acquisition. In case you don't know, all these new LEGO minifigures packs comes with one of these pieces, which let you position the minifigures as if he's a flying or, in this case, jumping or, you know, just walking if you want. So yeah. Now we're going to take a look at the leaflet. Now, the leaflet is made out of the Lego Movie 2 leaflet, and no, Series 19 leaflet paper, so the quality um, is, isn't really there, to be honest. I, the old leaflet had way better quality. However, you know, let's just take a look at it. On the front, we have this super cool comic panel design. I, I love this panel design. I, I might, I might in fact hand this up if it wasn't so creased. I, I'll just try to smooth the creases out, I don't know. So yeah, and I, I like how each character's panel kind of fits with uh, one of their character designs. Back is just some instructions, but the, the panel design is continued. And oh, I, I constructed the Joker on me. Oh no. Ah, there we go, there we go. Now the joke is correct. Now the joke is correct. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really liked this uh, minifigure. I like the design quite a bit, and it has some very useful parts. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.